back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see what are the few quantifier statements okay I hope everyone understood those everyone got an idea on quantifier statements that is for all or for some so this is a small topic in which you'll be you'll be given the statement and you need to write the write in terms of words okay taking the first one for all f of x so all are true for some f of x at least one is true negation of for all are true so this is negation means all are false that's it right basically the, assume that the statement is true so negation of this becomes for all negation of this becomes false for all negation of true that is false all are false next few are false negation of negation of okay all are true okay there is nothing much complex guys just assume that the original statement f of x is true wherever you will be finding f means it is showing that it is false next coming outside few are false and negation of that negation of this will be true sorry for all and negation of this false will be true okay all are true that's it nothing more than that guys okay again coming from the outside negation of this few means at least one is this original statement is true so negation application false at least one is false similarly negation of this at least one negation of this false becomes true at least one is true that's it i hope everyone understood these all statements if possible take a piece of paper and note them down and just go through them once if they are really really easy guys don't get confused or don't be messed up okay next take an example example it is really clear q of x is x is an even number x is greater than 0 x is i think this is the previous example which we have used okay the same example now we are using for all x r of x implies p of q so it is really clear for all if r r of x means r means this if x is a perfect square then x is an even number x is a sorry x is a positive number or x greater than 0 okay that's it right for all integers x is a perfect square then x greater than 0 is this true always that's the main question no it's not true always even 0 0 is a perfect square and 0 is not greater than 0 hence this is false like that you need to write the statement and say whether it is true or false next statement for few few or at least one it's all up to you for some of x is divisible by 3 and not an even number for some of x is divisible by 3 and not an even number is this true always yes is divisible by 3 for some at least he's just saying for some he's not saying for all so obviously it will be true okay next statement we'll be stopping here after this statement for all negation of r of x where r of x x is x is an perfect square here negation means x is not a perfect square for all for all x is not a perfect square is that true no it's not true as there are few perfect squares in the numbers so this is false i hope everyone understood these topics and in the next videos we'll be starting the set theory and that's the most easiest thing so here the video ends thank you thanks for watching